So I wanted to try to do something like a little different today. We're gonna to be getting ready and then talking about an unpopular parenting opinion that I have. I don't know, I just wanna embrace that part of me a bit more. Like I feel like I have these very strong parenting opinions and they don't come out of like nowhere. Like me and Alex, we read so many books and we research every every little decision that we do. Like we just feel so strongly about our parenting. We are not like laissez-faire parents, I guess is the word. Like everything we do is with intention and that's why we feel so strongly about everything we do. So I kind of just want to like play with makeup and yeah, just have like these discussions. Um, and it's not about othering other parents. And I think that's the reason I like hold back on this a little bit because obviously like people have different opinions on how to do things and I think people need to parent based on what works best for them. So I just don't want this to come across the wrong way. Sorry, my kids are also playing in here. I'm like, I'm like literally this is like real life. I'm just trying to get ready. This is the topic of discussion today. Um, we do not put sunscreen on our children. <laughs> oh, there is this peer-reviewed journal article. Okay, so this is like not like an imaginary thing I made up and pulled out of my butt crack. But talk, it's talking about how um, sunscreen causes vitamin D deficiency. And so you might be thinking, okay, well, sunscreen also prevents melanoma. Yes, that's not entirely true. Sunscreen prevents burns. But what it does as well is it prevents the reaction in your skin that creates vitamin D for yourself um, because it's blocking out those you know, V, A, and B rays. Again, this is not something you can supplement with vitamin D drops. It's specifically this chain reaction that happens when sunlight hits your skin unfiltered, like not through sunscreen, you um, create this vitamin D reaction. You might be like, okay, like, why do we care about vitamin D deficiency? Like this specific kind of vitamin D deficiency that you can only get from sunlight. The reason we care about that is because this vitamin D actually prevents melanoma. And it also prevents other illnesses as well. Like this is something you actually need. And so when the mainstream thought process is everybody needs to wear sunscreen every day to prevent burning, but also because everybody is concerned about anti-aging, which again, like melanoma or anti-aging, I don't know. For me, I would rather have the wrinkles and have that vitamin D protecting me and my children from melanoma. Now the key here is that obviously you can't burn. Because when you burn, obviously that increases your risk of melanoma. Um, and so each sunburn that you get, severe sunburn is something where your skin is peeling. Okay, so every severe sunburn that you get increases your risk of getting melanoma by a certain percent. I'll insert that here. Um, so there's two schools of thought there, right? Well, if I wear sunscreen all the time, I'll never burn and I won't increase my risk of melanoma. But also you're losing that vitamin D deficiency, which is vital to many things, not just to prevent your skin cancer, but for other things as well. And so given the exact same information, one parent might decide I'm just gonna wear, put sunscreen on my children. Um, because I would rather prevent the burn than and deal with the vitamin D deficiency. But for me and Alex personally, we decide no, no sunscreen and we only go out in the morning sun. Your skin builds up a tolerance and no, my skin, my skin and my children's skin through all the summers I've had them, we have not had burns. And so yeah, that's, that's my unpopular opinion for today. So let me just like finish this up quick. I'm really not, like, I have no time during the day to do this stuff, but I just felt like it today. And then, of course, like, yeah, I've got, like, screaming children. A great, like, point of this study is, like, it's not denying global warming. Of course it's not. But 
It's like the suggestion is that the increased risk of melanoma has been because of the depleting ozone layer, but this study suggests or proves that we should be focusing more on the fact that it's actually because we have more office work um, and we're not in the sun as much. And so again, this vitamin D deficiency could potentially be more damaging than the depleting ozone layer. Anyways, it's a good read. Read it through if you're like, yeah, I don't believe anything you're saying right now. Um, but again, like, there's people who wear sunscreen every day, even in the winter. So, like, think about how depleted their vitamin D would be. You know what I mean? So I just think that we need to think critically with some of these things because obviously it benefits corporations if we buy into the whole oh my god you need to wear sunscreen every day no question about it it's not safe to go out in the sun even in the winter well, my knee might burn like of course that benefits sunscreen companies who want to sell you things um and so yeah it's just like maybe thinking critically um and i don't know food for thought i guess the kids are getting restless so i gotta finish this up so, like, here's the thing. If I'm at the beach for the entire day and it's, like, 30 degrees and not a cloud in the sky, then sure, I'll put on some mineral sunscreen for my children. But that being said, like, in general, like, sunscreen was put on my child, like, twice this year. That's it. There are literally people who buy and put on sunscreen every single day for their children without a thought. I don't know, maybe we should rethink that a little bit. And I'm outside every single day with my children. We go on a walk, rain or shine, every single day, even in the winters, because it's so good for their brain development to be outdoors, another crunchy thing, but that's not what we're talking about today, we're talking about sunscreen. So anyways, that's why I don't use sunscreen on my children. Ah, okay. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I don't know. I might do a few more of these with my crazy crunchy opinions. Okay. Bye. <laughs>